Getting ready to go. Oh, the kids are looking out our window. There is a big hawk that flew into our tree. Where is it? Oh, so there, well, oh, there it is right there. Look at the crow tree. trying to get closer, closer yeah, right to there. it. Hey, Daddy, I can't see it. Because... No, I'll lift you up. It's just hanging out there for a minute. Oh, it just probably ruffled its feathers. It's probably That's one big bird, except yes. it's not yellow. Hey, probably Daddy, making, it's so big. Probably looking for its breakfast. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I just hopped a branch. Can't miss him. He's a big bird. There he goes. Welcome to Parsnips and Parsimony. Today is Tuesday and I'm going to be working on the countertop on the island today. Last night I worked on the countertop and let's see, down there we have this stuff and then I had to do plywood because we did not have enough. So plywood base on the bottom, it's the top right now, but it's going to get flipped over. And I'm about ready to use the router. Over at the table, Janelle is working on sanding the shelves, and she is going to try to get those stained today. This is the end, right? Yes, it is. And the doors are right here, or at least all the parts of the doors. It's not a part of a door. <laughs> so here are all the little parts to make the doors. Some of it's ready to get assembled. Yeah, I still have to, let's see, these have to get stained still. These ones have been stained, so I'm going to assemble them, and then we're going to put the, um, the finishing coat on it. It doesn't look very good right now, but I'm going to use the router and clean up the edges on here. Okay, here we go. Got the camera on? The camera is on. <laughs> We are ready to go, finally. Turn it on. You're a mess. Yeah, well, the price of progress is a mess. <laughs> we are so going to have to clean after this. It's, it's this dust is everywhere. I, I've officially given up trying to dust until all the woodworking is done, at least for the island. We're gonna clean the house from top to bottom, and then we're gonna do it all over again when we do the last cupboard. But the good news is, this should be the end for a long time, at least for the kitchen. We still have to do the back room, but it's progress. No complaints from this lady. 10 years in the making. Yeah. We're getting it done this year. Yeah. I thought I'd quick show you guys what I'm working on and how I'm finishing the wood here because you guys had said that you wanted to see a little bit more about how to finish it. I am by no means an expert on this. I am doing what I've been shown, um, both by the, uh, my dad and also a local wood finisher for furniture. So 
I'm just gonna show you what I do. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to accomplish this, but this is what I've done and I've had pretty good success with it. I took my piece of wood here and then sanded it down. For hickory, I chose 180 to finish it with. Um, the art did a great job with this, so I didn't have to do the one eight, uh, the one twenty first, because usually with wood, sometimes to get out the dings and such, you've got to um, use a heavier grit and then you move it down to a finer grit. And I used the one eighty for this, just because the hickory is so hard. If I went down to say a two hundred or a two twenty, oh, I would be working sanding hours, and it already is so smooth as it is. So one eighty worked for this just if you're doing other wood you might need to uh, go to something a little bit finer but for this it worked fine so I went ahead and sanded this all it is not perfect by any um, stroke of the imagination but it's good enough um, I was taking my sandpaper for in here this is where the panels go inside the wood so this most people won't see it but I am sanding just a little bit on the inside to get off the rough edges it'll also help with the staining process so there I have my whole stack of wood here and then I have another stack of here that I already finished now this is maple plywood and this sanded a whole lot differently than the hickory the hickory is so hard it just takes so much longer so there I have it all sanded wiped them down with a cloth to remove any of the saw um, the sanding dust and things like that uh, you just use a rag for that I think they say you can use mineral spirits on it and just let it dry I just use a loose rag I've never had a problem with it wiped it down and it's good to go now the stain that I'm using is this General's Finished New Pine Gel Stain. Very, very easy to work with, which, trust me, I need easy. Um, so this can is almost gone. Um, I'm going to finish that up right now. I don't know if you guys can even see in there. There's not much in there. Um, what you do is stir it up really good. I love trusty old popsicle sticks for this. This was actually one from... Um, well, a popsicle we had in the freezer. <laughs> we ate it and then we used the stick to stir our thing. Um, um, just stir it up really good and take a little bit on paper towels. Paper towels I like work the best for this. Then I can just dispose of them properly after I'm finished with them. Um, wipe it on, let it set for a little bit, wipe it off and let it dry and that is all there is to putting the stain on it is so easy um, consistency no dribbles make sure you don't leave any dark spots on it wipe it all down usually I have one paper towel for staining and then I have another paper towel for drying so let me show you how I do this see if I can stir this up at all there's not much in there to actually stir so we're just gonna finish this up this might have thickened up a little bit from since it was new but it's still usable okay so yeah it's getting a little jelly like these are all cleaned wiped off I'm gonna take a little bit with my toothpick um what do you call that popsicle stick and I'm just gonna, yeah, this is getting thick, thick, thick. So this is not gonna last very long. I have a new can though. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there like that. And then I like to fold my paper towel like this. And then I'm just gonna rub this all over the wood. Just like that. And this is, like I said, it's a little bit thicker that at the end of the can and then the beginning of the can make sure that it has a chance to soak right in to the wood so sometimes you'll get a rough spot like I don't know if you guys can see that and you see that one spot right in here it didn't want to go in so just take your paper towel and blot it in that way it's all evenly stained and just rub it back and forth Look how pretty that is. And this is a light stain. You can choose different colors, but this is the one that we liked. Okay. Get my trusty old popsicle stick here. Put that on. You can see how it dribbled right here. Just go ahead and wipe that up. So this is just a lot of running the stain right over 
the paper towel right over the pieces that you think you're already done, but you're going to run it back and forth. You don't want to leave any dribble marks or anything like that. See, there's another dribble mark right. See, where is it? I got to get on the camera right up here, right there. Wipe that down. I'm going to be putting two coats on this. So if I miss any spots that first time, I can catch them on the second time. And the wood won't absorb nearly as much steam that second time because it's already absorbed a lot. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to take my clean paper towel, just wipe it down. And you see, you're going to pick up a little bit. You're not going to pick up a lot. Check for any dribbles. For me, it's inside this groove. Wipe that down. And there we go. The first one's all done. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so that's how I apply the stain. The finish doesn't go on for, I gotta put another coat of stain on these and then I'll go ahead and put the finish. But because Art is assembling these, he's we're staining, then he's assembling, and then I'm applying the finish, he's got to assemble them all before I get to that point. So this is just for the staining. This stuff usually takes anywhere from eight to 12 hours to dry before I can recoat it. I don't think you can recoat it sooner than that. Um, it really depends on the temperature of your house too. I don't see where it says how long to dry. But this is what we've been using for years on all of our cabinets. My dad's been using this product. We've been really, really happy with how easy it is to apply. That's a big deal. We're all about ease around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and let's check on art. How's it going with your destruction of my uh, kitchen? It's, it's <laughs> destroying it very well. Yeah. Okay, well. We had the vacuum out. We did some vacuuming. Right. Well, I got the edges sanded most of the way. I still have to touch up one edge there that it did not turn out round. Oh, okay. And now I'm uh, filling in the gaps because when you put the router and you hit a gap, it goes down. So anyway, I'm going to chisel these off so that it's smooth. And okay. then hopefully I can get the side on fairly soon. The, you the, yeah, the for Micah. Yes. Okay. For my guy. Look at that. We might have a countertop in not that long. Maybe. I'm hoping by tonight. This is probably out. the biggest mess that we're going to have in here. Uh, and it kind of has to be done here. You can't do that out right. the basement very easily. So it is what it is. We will have to thoroughly clean everything as soon as it's um, done here. So you're just going to cut that right off level here. Yeah, and I'm going to cut it. And then, uh, then I'll, I'll file it, sand it down, make sure that it's... Uh, and it's level. Yeah. It's not really that. So. so what ended up happening, and we didn't end up filming this, is you'll notice that we have the press board here, and then we actually have real live plywood. Yeah. Maybe this might be a big no-no. I'm not really sure. I'm sure some <laughs> people are probably watching this and cringing. Yeah! It's just like they were probably cringing when I was cutting Peter's hair. Oh, yeah. So what ended up happening is we didn't have enough of the press board fiber. I think it's called MDF board to do the two layers, but we had the plywood. So we're mixing the two to get the right depth and then using that as our countertop base. Now we did have a few, um, we were piecing this together. Yes, so you can see that's what I did. I had a sheet like this size, so I cut it at a diagonal and then I slid them to fit. And then yeah, I put right the um, triangles in here, but the triangles are a tiny bit too small. So I'm gonna have to fill that in. But. So this is going on the underside, correct? Yeah, we're flipping it over. Yes. So the countertop will be one cell. The MDF is perfectly solid. There was no issues with that. So the countertop will be totally flat, sealed, no problem. This will be on the underside. And unless you're crawling in my cupboards with shelves in there looking for it, no one's going to see that there's plywood under here. I presume we're going to give this a light sanding, right? So we don't have any... Yeah, I, I sanded okay. it on the edges. Well, I'm talking about here. These are yes. some slivers. We don't want to get slivers when we put our hands in there. But yeah, that's the progress that was made last night. And you're going to glue... Do you have to take this all apart and glue it, or we're keeping it like it is? I'm going to... What? I mean, are you this, pulling the boards oh, apart? Glued it. Oh, you already glued yeah, it. It's already glued and screwed down. Wow, so. you did a lot last so night while I was sleeping. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah, Peter and I did that last week. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, look, it's, it's getting there. This is just the definitely the messiest part because of all this having to be cut in the house. And then, well, give it a day or two for the dust to settle, and then we'll have to clean everything. Right. Everything from top to bottom. Is this as bad as wallboard dust? No, no. <laughs> that tenth is bad. <laughs> To those of you who are new to construction, mess is a reality. Mess means progress. Yes. And grin and bear it and make sure it doesn't last for too many days. Years. <laughs> Four years. I, I mean, that will, I'll tell you that when we hit that, we, I mean, it's been 10 years since we've started this project and we've had to stop at points to just clean up because 10 years of perpetual dust and construction is not good for anyone so we're working hard yes the kids are watching a little bit more tv these days just until we can get through this point to get this done cleaned up once it's cleaned we'll do it one more time finishing that last cabinet under the sink and i think that's gonna be the end of the mess don't you I hope so. I, I can't hope see well. foresee a lot of huge mess happening left in the house, at least for the short term. And while Janelle is doing that, she's watching another vlogger. Yep, just found out that there's a well, semi-local to us, New York's a new another New York channel called the Fitzgeralds, and they have two little kids and expecting another one, so. I like anything that's pregnancy and family related, so I need something to keep me busy when I'm sanding, so I just turn them on and brush them. And over here, I am working on sanding the bottom. I don't have to sand it thoroughly, but I'm just trying to get all the major burrs off of there. And look at that, another guy who does laundry. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Daddy? Uh, well, the chickens are getting a new box because they outgrew their last one. And I'm putting the window and They love this little window that I yeah, let's see if it fits. <laughs> and Daniel's coming to check. Oh, don't, don't drop a bowl on the chickens, please. Okay, let's see. Yeah, look at that. Within a few seconds, they came to check things out. What are you doing? I mean, you're the chickens. No, the chickens. Uh, Hey, now the chickens are checking out their new home. Uh oh. Yeah, let's tape the window in. Wow, Alex. They're so excited and they're yes. always starting to grow feathers. Right. They're going they're to. Tail feathers. Yep, and they're also going to start laying. Well, it it'll be been... a while. It'll be a few months it before was, they lay. It did two. It, we always did two weeks. There. Now they have their window. <laughs> And then we'll stick it into the back of the box. Uh-huh. To see how warm it will get. Right. <laughs> there we, we go. We use a dimmer switch for this one. Yes, we have a dimmer switch so we can make it hotter or colder as needed. First shelf done. Okay. Oh, I just heard that we have a first shelf done over there. Yay! Okay, well, it is time to eat, and I cooked, so, well, when I cook, I <laughs> yeah, Mary helped. When I cook, usually, well, it's not that great, but it will work. No one's going to starve. Yay! Yes! Yeah. Since the table is all filled with stuff, we're going to eat at our new uh, countertop, <laughs> although the countertop's not done yet, but it will work for today. Yeah, Lydia, smile. <laughs> I have Lydia on top of this so I can, I need her to hold it still so I can cut this out of there. It's and like then, a personal throne over there. Right, it's my, it's a, a human uh, paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if this is good after 10 years. I don't know if it's going to be or not. You used it not that many years ago, right? Oh uh, yeah, three or four or five years ago. Let's see. Uh, sticky. Well, it is sticky, that's for sure. Okay, I think we're... Probably good, I think so. Looks a bit like caramel. Yes, it does. Caramel, caramel. Now I have an old paintbrush. And I have to paint it onto here. Okay. There we go. I'm going to try to put it together without making mistakes. You only really get one chance to do this. Let's show you how. Don't watch. 
Okay. Did you all cut it purposely a little bit? Yeah, you have to cut it a little bit big, but it's not much big. We're just trying to apply the what's that? The side. Yeah, the side. And then, well, this is one of the sheets. It's actually going to take three sheets to so go all the, all the way around. around. The good news is the countertop. If this all works out, is going to cost us zero. Well, zero. I mean, it cost us before, but right, we now, paid for it. But it's it's been sitting up in the barn for, for ten, 10 years. years. Okay, so zero. It costs us zero right now, and you know this is going to be just. This is exciting because this is an actual. This is more counter space. Right. Okay. Now we next. can't cut this off though until we get all at least the, the shelves in here we're not going to have those drawers for a while but at least have the shelves so everything in here can go over there and then this can get zipped off and then we'll get a real sense of how we like the new flow of everything the dishes got washed and dried. They did not get it put away, and then yeah. Art zipped everything, so they all have to get washed again. It's bad in here. <laughs> and this is this is construction. This is um, usually. One thing that we were talking about, and we're not, Art's not going to build it until we're really set and make sure that we're happy with it. Because why make Art build something when we might not want it? So after this gets situated where it's supposed to be. This gets cut off. We're gonna work with this workflow for a little while. What we're temp we're thinking is creating right here, like a little coffee bar area. So he would build something. I'm thinking I'm going to take that butch that top off the butcher block over there, and use part of that. I'll refinish that, and then put that over here. And Art said he could wire an electrical outlet here, so we could have like a little car coffee bar area. Um, just for those type of things but then this would be two shelves here and that would store all of my cookbooks and out here this is not ideal at all how I stack these but these shelves are so big that this is how they got stacked they have ventilation between them it's just not all that pretty these um, after we get the countertop situated I will probably space these out a little bit better but all of those are their first coat of stain I am not sure I'm going to actually put a second coat of stain on them just because these are on the interior I am going to be putting on probably three or four coats of the polycurlic just because I need these shelves. They're gonna take a lot of beating being in the, I mean, they're gonna have those Cambro containers going in and out of them. There's gonna be a lot of use on those. So the finish that I put on here really needs to be durable. So I'm thinking that's, I'd rather put more time into the coats of that than the stained when this looks, you know, it's really not gonna absorb a lot. And I am so glad I ended up getting the pint instead of the court like I originally was going to get because I already went through about that much of it <laughs> just from doing the shelves. What's up, Mr. D? What's up? What you want? Hi. hi. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. I know. Yeah, you would like the camera. You want to see you? There you are. Who's that guy? Who's that handsome Bella? <laughs> Trying to take over Mommy, huh? You want Mommy to hold you? Hmm? <gasps> Where'd the camera go? Oh, well, it's right there. Okay, I'm ready to apply the... Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Nice okay, Daddy needs us. Here we go. Let's go see what Daddy's doing. Rolling pin. We're trying to use that to help smooth around the corners and the sides. Are you going to be able to fasten the top of this down today? I hope so. This is what I need to do after I get all the sides on. <laughs> Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh boy. Okay, there you go. Talk, Daddy. <laughs> what I'm going to do after I get all the sides on is I have to take the router, which is over there, and then you can go around and you zip everything off around the top, and then flip it over around the other side, actually the bottom and then the top. And flip it over and then put the lid on it. Are you screwing this in? Is that the screwing the top to the base? Well, I'm going to, yes, but oh, actually we, it doesn't cost us a little money. I need to buy some fasteners from the house. Oh, store. okay. Okay, down you go. Down but, you go. Uh, yeah, that, 
I'm hoping to have it done today. Okay. We'll have to get to the hardware store fast because it closed, I think, at five or six. And it took five hours of staining just to do the staining part, not adding the finish. But that wood was so thirsty, especially the maple plywood. I was just sucking all the stain up. This is coming and glued a little bit uh -oh. right there. No, I might have to redo that. Okay. It's not much, but. No. I am not picking at Art's job. Art knows that. I um, Does it stick? I tend to look at what he's doing and then double checking to make sure that everything is good. And two minds are better than one. I had a little mishap. It's now 5.15. Yeah, and oh, we thought we had it. Yes. But there was off by just ever so no. little. There's a gap right here and you can't really Maybe. leave a gap there. So we had to go back. So we've been trying to <laughs> cook dinner. Okay, just a minute. Cook dinner, do some cleanup. I was working on yeah. dishes and we've gotten, Art got the whole edge done. So now he's going to take and the take router, and zip it. And then, and then we can flip it. this because, around. Yeah, we call it zipping because it sounds like you're zipping. Oh, zipping. Okay, watch out. Excuse me. And stay out of daddy's way. Right, ready? Okay, go for it. Okay. We are going to have to move it. Go around there though. Okay. I can help when no, we get over anyway, there. We'll get started. So, what it does is it has the little wheelie that's the guide. And it goes all the way around. Yep, you can see Mary. Daddy, and then we'll just clean this up. Off and over there. This it's is, just this the, is the glue. You can see the glue stuck yeah. to the thing. So yeah, I'm gonna flip it over. And yep, do the this other will side be the too. underside too. So no worries. Actually, I've been cleaning up as we go. So I just finished cleaning up all of here, getting that tidied, trying to keep this from getting tracked into the rest of the house. Is it looking? So far, so good. and well we've got that all glued we have that all glued we have the front door open <laughs> yes contact cement you want it well ventilated so we've got the windows and the doors open because this is a just a smelly job with this amount of glue and he's going to use those dolls to elevate the yeah, laminate. Put the on, yeah. yeah. Yes, getting... Do you remember where we got these dowels? An auction. Yes, at an auction I bought, oh, probably a thousand dowels. You can see I have a whole bunch more here. Uh, and we sold a lot of them at garage sales, but uh, no one wanted the tiny little ones. So I'm going to put the dowel, lay the dowels on here, and then you pull them out one at a time, and the laminate goes down. Onto yep. it. That gives you the opportunity to get it just right. 
So. Oh, we're getting there. I think it's going to be done before bedtime. It will, uh, I hope so, unless something goes bad, which it might. We've cleaned up the floor I don't know how many times today. Clean, clean, clean. We, we're, I, I gave up on cleaning all the, all the kitchen. We're just going to let this finish up. Yeah, probably 10 minutes before that's ready. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in 10. We switched out the bit for this portion, and he's gonna zip it, check it to Ready? make sure we're yes. good. I need to check it first to make sure it's the right height. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell just by looking at it. So I'm gonna zip a little bit and then check it out. Oh, wait, oh, there's a <laughs> I think that's good. Okay, you just have to go right up to the edge and it makes the 22 degree angle for you. Okay, you know what you're doing. So, well, <laughs> I hope I know. <laughs> I kind of know what I'm doing. I have confidence in you. Okay, well, I am not an expert. I, I do it out of necessity. So here we go. Yes, my socks are dirty. Uh, I need to readjust the cord. Oh, okay. Power cord, right? Right. Okay. Oh, and yeah, you're going to have to touch this up over here up. because we've got... Uh, uh, yeah, we've got quite a few. Here. So it's... I'll, I'll go around again. Yeah, it's normal to actually have to retouch this stuff up. Oh, that's why it goes in. Yeah, see. It, and it's okay. It's just because it's hard when you're cutting off this much to see exactly where you are. And also you got the thick glue there, too. Right. I'll clean that up, and then I'll go around again. All right. That's starting to look like a countertop. Oh, look at that. Can you toss the part over, Peter? And there it is, the finished product. Almost finished. I'm just cleaning up a few of the spots. <laughs> that uh, have a couple bubbles in it. Yeah, there. now's the time to tighten it down. Right. But it looks good. Very happy with it. Now we just need to finish up the doors and the drawers, but that's going to be for... Yes, another video. And with that, I'm going to end this vlog. Or it's going to finish up here. And I don't know, are you planning on... Well, well just out. a little bit more. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna um, keep doing his thing. But it was a good day. I think we accomplished a lot. We made a huge mess, and tomorrow is going mm, to be yes. clean up the mess, which there is much of. Yeah, show them the counter. Yeah, the counter needs to get cleaned up, and the stove, which is just absolutely grievous. And this is all sawdust. We've cleaned this several times today. Uh, so everything's going to have to get clean tomorrow from top to bottom for the most part on all of this and have a fresh start. Not much mess will be made, I don't think after this. The staining won't uh, make it that much mess. Yeah, until we start Snail's Face Challenge 2. Right, which is that. But that is to be continued. That's uh, probably 10 days away at least, right? We will see you tomorrow and thanks for watching this video, which <laughs> uh, it seems like the beginning of the day was about four days ago. But we're getting there. Definitely getting there. Alright, good night everybody.